Good morning. Hello. Happy Wednesday. I'm back again because uh, one of the things I understand, I know I came on yesterday and I talked a lot about, you know, what you're saying and what you're speaking into your life. And I want to help you in that process. So I want to help ensure that you're not thinking you're going to say, I got a Bentley. And the Bentley is right outside, right? So many of you may be saying, well, one second, I meant to, um, hey, Sharonda, how are you, dear? I intended to um, <clears throat> turn this Wi-Fi off on the other device to make sure that we're clear. As you guys come on, please share the broadcast out. We're talking about how to actually see, like how to see stuff manifesting in your life, what you're saying, how to see what you're saying. Um, yesterday, I talked about the power of affirmations and how they've been like really amazing in my life. So um, let me know, hey, Sherry, how are you, darling? How off my thinking was from where I really wanted to be. So many of you may say, I've been declaring the word, I've been speaking God's promises, you know, I've been practicing, you know, being positive, but I'm just not seeing, you know, what I'm saying. And so affirmations yesterday, I talked about how it was or is because I use the practice all the time, guys, a practice that I use in my life that I've gotten amazing results from. And one of the first results I got from it was changing my thinking. Like I didn't know that my thinking was so off from where I wanted to go. Does that make sense to you all? Have you all ever heard something new and or a new concept or a new way to think about something and you realize you're like, wait a minute, I, I've been thinking it, I've been thinking the other way the entire time. So that's one of the huge things that affirmations did for me, but it also helped me to step into a space of abundant thinking, right? Because as a man thinks in his heart, and I think the in his heart part is so huge because when we talked on yesterday, I talked about how, you know, we have different realms of our thinking and one being like our conscious mind, and then there's our subconscious mind. And that's the part of our mind that's like, it's underneath all the stuff, but it's actually dictating everything that we do. And so affirmations helped me to like retrain what was going on behind the scene that I wasn't always consciously thinking about, although I was thinking it. Hope this makes sense for you guys. But I wanted to help you on today with, um, for those of you who are kingdom believers, we are stepping into a new decade, not just a new year, a new decade. I don't know what that means for you all, but for me, I am going to have an amazing 10 year decade coming before me. And it's not one of the main reasons is because of what I'm speaking and saying, but I'm not anticipation in anticipation that it's just going to pop up out of the blue. Right now, the thing is that while you're on your, your journey to making those things transpire in your life that you're saying, some of the stuff is just going to start happening for you. You guys tap the screen for that. Isn't that beautiful? Um, and that's part of the grace of the whole thing, right? So some of that stuff is going to happen, but it's going to happen while you're on the journey. Have you, let's think about this right here. So how to see what you're saying how to see what you're saying. For those of you who've been, you know, speaking things over your life and you've been declaring the word of God over your life and it's not manifesting, I want to share with you, hey mom, good morning, how are you? I want to share with you how to see those things manifest. How many of you have either taught your child how to ride a bike or you've watched someone teaching a child how to ride a bike? Put me in the comments. If you can just go and envision that for a moment, that we have a child, they're learning how to ride the bike. You know, there's usually a person standing beside them in the beginning. And there are some words that that person normally says, I don't care which child it is, right? In order for the child to 
um, stay the course. Put me in the comments if you've ever taught your child how to ride a bike or you've seen someone teaching a child how to ride a bike. And I'm not sure because, you know, Facebook was doing something a little funny before where I couldn't see the comments. So I'm just going to assume <clears throat> that you guys are interacting with me. I hope so. And if so, if, if it's that I can't see them, I'll come back and, um, you know, comment. Okay, good. The comments are working. Sharonda says me. So one of the things they tell the child is don't look back. You guys get that? Don't look back. Look straight ahead. Look where you're going. Trust. I got you. Look where you're going, which is the same thing that God is normally saying to us. No different from swimming. I don't know how many of you are swimmers, but if you're swimming, they tell you to keep your head and your arms in the position that you desire to go, right? To look ahead. So one of the reasons why what you're wanting to manifest in your life, in your business, um, for your family, why what you're saying you're not seeing is because you aren't looking ahead. So your attention is over here. Your attention is over there. I'm going to give you guys one of the, I mean, it's a great example to me. So this morning I saw someone make a post and they talked about um, promotions and things of that nature. So I share with my clients and many of you are entrepreneurs if you're watching me that if you're going to do Black Friday sales, you have to be particular about what those sales are because it can easily diminish who you are as a brand. For instance, many of my uh, private, all of my private um, coaching opportunities are premium opportunities, right? And so I saw someone today who was dispelling doing Black Friday at all. And I want you guys to know that you have to know where it is that you are heading. Because if you don't know where you're heading, you'll do a lot of things in your business that don't fit your brand. So I, I understand Black Friday is an amazing opportunity. Consumers are in the process of, of purchasing and buying, and it's a great way for you to get your brand out in front of the marketplace and draw some attention. But what you are making a Black Friday offer makes a huge difference and how you're making the offer. So I share all that to say that as I'm watching the per person who's dispelling doing Black Friday at all, you have to know what your business is and where it is that you're trying to go, or you will see 50 different things with 50 different directions on social media and you'll turn back or you'll turn to the side or you'll move away from where it is that you're heading. And whenever you move away, you get off track. You lose time, you lose focus, you lose energy. And many of you are doing that all the time. And so if you're not seeing what you're saying, ask yourself, how many times have I moved over to the side? How many times have I diverted away from my original plan? How many times have I moved off of the path of where it is I said I wanted to go? Now, this is not to say that um, you may have this one idea for your business um, or your journey, your life's journey, and it doesn't mean that it won't shift, right? Right? But if you're constantly switching lanes and moving and trying stuff and being inundated every single time you see someone else post something, then the likelihood of you seeing things manifest in your life and your business becomes slim. Good morning, Kimberly um, Russell. How are you? Thank you for joining. The, the likelihood of what you're saying manifesting in your life and your business begins to diminish. Does this make sense to you guys? Right. Just like the child learning to ride the bike, the person is telling them, just look ahead because they know the moment that they veer even their head off, it's going to change the direction of the vehicle, the, the bicycle and possibly cause them to fall. If you know, if you're thinking about a, a person who is running a race, even you don't see them look behind them. They barely even look over to the side unless they're using their peripheral vision because it slows them up. So if you're not seeing what you're saying, ask yourself, have I veered off to the side? Have I, have I moved over to the left or the right um, from where it is that I desire to go? Another reason you may not be seeing what you're saying is because you haven't even decided where it is you're going. 
you're really not even clear about that. You're just kind of doing things and hoping that they work and they manifest. So with affirmations, one of the things that it really blesses me about affirmations is it changes. Remember I said it changes your subconscious mind, but it also changes, you know, your the spiritual part of what you're doing. Remember I said your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. So affirmations put you in alignment with the abundant spirit that is on the inside of you. And you begin to say, I want you guys to do me a favor. One, share the broadcast out with, with someone. So I focus on six elements of life in my major coaching programs. And I also added it to the affirmation I shared with you guys on, on yesterday. So today I'm going to share what those six areas of life are. And I want you guys to give me an area that um, you'd love to hear an affirmation in, or you'd love for us to focus on. So there's your um, emotional uh, life. There's your health and wellness, your career and finances, your home and relationships, uh, your learning and self-improvement, and goodness, the other one dropped. It'll come back to me. But if you have a particular area that you know, okay, I want to spend a little time focusing on this area. I want to see some changes in this area. Put that in the comments for me. I'm going to show you guys how affirmations work in your life so that you can see what it is that you're saying so that you're able to see what what it is that you're saying so there's your emotional life your health and wellness career and finances home and relationships learn improvement and um i want you guys to put that if you if you if facebook has a lag i'm gonna just choose one and then show you guys how that works so let's do, because Facebook's low, let's do career and finances because I can't think of anybody who wouldn't want to improve in their financial area. Although there's so many other areas in your life and I believe that when you focus on it as a full circle experience, that's when you get harmony in your life. So imagine your career and finances is an area that you work on. So let's choose an affirmation. So I attract clients every day who see me and invest immediately in our blessed 100 fold. So maybe that's one of your affirmations. And you're saying, okay, I'm saying this, but that's just not how it's going down. That's not what I'm seeing. Now you look at the affirmation and you say, am I attracting clients every day? Am I attracting clients every day? And if so, are they investing immediately? Are they investing soon? So that's going to answer a couple of questions. If that's not happening, now you can take what you said and bring practical steps into the process of you affirming so that you can see manifest what you're saying. Does that make sense to you guys? Because so many people aren't seeing what they're saying because they aren't in alignment with what it is that they're, they're even putting out into the atmosphere. So that may mean... Um, what do I need to do to attract clients every day? Do I need to, um, who are willing to invest? Do I need to brand myself differently? Do I need to find out who my perfect people are in my business? Do I need to understand more about who those people are? And then if they are investing, but they're not returning or being blessed, then, then you can say, okay, what do I need to do in my systems, in my processes, to make that different. Does that make sense to you guys? So these are some reasons. I'm just giving you guys some reasons why you may not be seeing what you're saying. And, and one of the main reasons I shared before, um, let's look at affirmations like they're small visions. Whatever affirmation, whatever you're affirming, whatever statement you render to whatever area of your life, let's look at it as if it's a small vision. So if, let's say health and wellness. So I eat healthy daily and it shows internally and externally. You know, if that's not because you're confirming what's already transpiring, then it's something that you desire. So that's a vision. So you know that your end goal, your target is for you to eat healthy to the point where it shows externally and internally. Does this make sense to you guys? So many people aren't seeing what they say because they don't have 
a vision for where it is that they desire to go. Listen, without a vision, you will go anywhere, you'll do anything, and you'll do it with anybody. You'll go anywhere, you'll do anything, and you'll do it with anybody. Now, most of us had some form of standard before we really start stepping into new spaces of awareness about our thinking um, and even about the things that we were doing. But when you begin to get particular about where it is you really want to see your life go, where what you're saying is what you're not just saying it because it sounds good. Right. This becomes real to you. This has become a, a serious part of your purpose and your journey then even the standards that you once had may change. So if you know, you have, see, vision becomes that thing that dictates everything. It dictates where you go. When you know that your goal is to earn six figures or to be you know, a millionaire, you're not gonna do some of the things that you did before. And some of us, you know, we're stuck on the keeping it real part and the keeping it real part is keeping us stuck. You know, what we feel we need to do to keep it real. I think the, the first person that we must be real with is ourselves, And that's what we desire, what we deserve, and what we want to see transpire in our lives. And so a clear vision is necessary. You need a target. And that target is going to begin to dictate everything you do. So the target will be the affirmation um, or the small vision statement. Remember, we can look at affirmations as tiny vision statements. It becomes the, the, the target for what it is that you desire to do. And you're no longer going to go anywhere because your vision is going to begin to lead you. So many of you are not seeing what you're saying because you haven't decided a vision for, for your life and your business. You don't have a clear target that you're aiming for. Remember I said when you don't have a target, you just kind of shoot anywhere. And you're when you see things on social media, um, you gravitate towards anything because you're doing things for the moment and not for long term. You're doing things for the moment and not for long term. For those of you who are saying, yeah, I'm the person that's been declaring and speaking over my life and saying the promises of God, and it's just not happening. Things are not coming together. Um, one of the things that I'm doing for uh, the next five days is I'm offering five ways for you to grow your business and your life. And it's so amazing because as I was studying, I realized that five is the number of grace. Somebody put that in the comments, even if you come on later. Five is the number of grace. I said, how aligned would this be? Because these opportunities are opportunities that um, allow you to invest in a way that you may not have been able to invest to work with me before. My uh, coaching programs are premium coaching programs. And this is what I find. Sometimes we'll find somebody and we know that what they're sharing is impactful. We know that working with them is going to shift or change our life, but we're not necessarily in the position to do it. I always suggest you find the person who is having the greatest impact on your life and you invest on even the smallest thing they have because if you're not in a position to invest from a premium level, then it's probably some of the things in their smaller opportunities that help to get you to that next level. And so I want to offer my Slay Your Plans and Profit course to you all. It is a self-study course. It's four weeks long. You work on your vision. So all of the things that you're affirming and that you're saying on a regular basis, you begin to have an actual vision for it, right? A strategy, a plan. You get clear. Um, you learn how to set goals. Some people aren't sure on how to set goals, right? You determine what your triggers are. So triggers may be that thing that makes you turn to the side when you're riding the bike or when you're swimming, that makes you fall off the bike, have to stop and get back up, possibly have a few bumps and bruises. Triggers are things that keep you distracted from what it is that you really, really desire to do. And the moment that you become aware consciously aware where it's not just in your subconscious mind but you're consciously aware of what those triggers are um, you can do things to help avoid being distracted so i teach you how to do that in my rrf factor it's inside that opportunity <coughs> excuse me and then you also make a plan what's missing for many of you who aren't seeing what you're saying is a real plan it's the reason businesses fail guys it's even the reason families fail my goodness.
It's even the reason families fail. So when you have two people who are coming together who have two totally different visions on how things should be done, or they may be talking about what they want the family to do, but they never put a plan in action. After two to three years, somebody begins to grow tired and frustrated. And the same as, you know, the person that you're wanting to align with. And so this is one of my, guys, I'm just going to keep it 100. I just think that many of the things that I've created that were uh, centered around your whole life are really powerful. And I'm not just saying that myself. These are things that my clients share. I see how their life is changing. And the Slayer Plans and Profit course, y'all know Slay started in the Bible first. You're slaying all of those things that are getting in the way, getting in the way of you seeing what it is that you're saying. So that course is normally $297 um, for this five days, five ways opportunity. It's only $197. And I've also added two bonuses because most of the time we always need to keep an account of our finances. So I've added my Get Your Money, Get Your Life course with that, as well as a um, Five Principles to Branding course. So those are bonuses in addition to the course. Uh, they're downloaded to your email weekly, um, and you have it for lifetime. You have it for lifetime. So many people aren't seeing what they're saying because there's no plan in between what they're saying and where it is that they're going. And I want to take this next four weeks before 2020, the new decade comes in, and get serious about where it is that you're going. So many people say, <clears throat> you know, 2020 is my year. This year is going to be amazing. But there's no real plan. The plan is maybe to do what they're doing even harder. Hey, Lester, how are you, dear? Do what they're doing even harder. Guys, I know people who work really, really hard all of their life and never reach measures of success. Because you have to be working hard on the right things. And once you begin to put your energy, your time, what you're saying and doing on the right things, it gets easier, guys. It gets simpler. Let me say that. It gets simpler. It gets simpler. So I want to give you guys an opportunity, um, <coughs> a grace moment, five days, five ways to grow your life and your business. I will be sharing a new opportunity with you over these next five days. For those of you who are interested, there are two, two of the opportunities so far on that page, you can go to renewfullcircle.com slash five ways. I believe I put the link at the top of this particular broadcast, but a few reasons why you don't see what you're saying is because you don't have a real target, right? You either moved away from the target or you don't have faith for the target that you're aiming for. Remember your affirmations, the things that you're saying, speaking and declaring over your life are small visions. They're small vision statements. And one of the things that happens for me, if I have something that I know is not occurring in my life, uh, so maybe it's my, my desk, and I may say my home is clean and organized at all times and welcoming for, for There's papers everywhere. Every time I say this affirmation, it'll cause me to go and do that thing that makes what I'm saying what I'm seeing. Do you guys get that? Do you guys get that? When you really want to see what it is that you're saying in your life, as you say it, you can recognize whatever things are out of alignment and then begin to put effort and energy into that space. Affirmations are powerful, guys, but you need a vision. Remember I said, don't know where you're going. You'll go with anyone. You'll do anything um, and you'll do it with anybody. You can look back on your dating life. When you weren't clear on where it is you wanted to go, I'm not saying you just dated any old body, but it's probably a person or two that you can think of that you just never would have dated if had you known where it is you really wanted to go. That's what the Slayer Plans and Profit course does. It allows you to get super, super clear about the direction that you want to head. 
many of us are inundated with the things that don't go necessarily the way we want them to go. And we do, like I mentioned with the bicycle, we, we start looking to the left and we start looking to the right. Right? Remember I said when you're teaching a child to ride the bike, one of the things you tell them is keep your focus straight ahead. Because the minute that they turn, the bike, move, the bike moves with them. Right? So when you turn your head and look the other way, when you get distracted, your vehicle, right, which is your vision, it goes with you. It goes to the left. It goes to the right. You get off track. And so it makes it difficult for you to actually see what you're saying. It makes it difficult for those things to manifest. I pray that this helps you. For those of you who purchased the Affirmations book, I talk about um, you know, what affirmations do for you and how the process works, but maybe this will give an even greater understanding of you affirming things in your life. One is going to shift you know, how you're even thinking, right? And your thinking always impacts your emotions, and that always impacts your actions. Sometimes we leave actions out. But some of you may not be seeing what you're saying because you don't have a real target and your vision is your target. I walk you through creating a vision based on your values, based on what it is that you desire and deserve um, for your life. We go through goal setting, time management, um, triggers, which is so important because many of you have things that are distracting you, that are keeping you um, off course, that are prohibiting things that you're saying from actually manifesting in your life. And we go through a factor that I created where you, you're in awareness. You're like, this is what it is. This is what's, you know, distracting me and causing me to stay stuck. Renewfullcircle.com slash five ways. Renewfullcircle.com slash five ways. Remember, five is the number of grace. This is my opportunity to extend grace to those of you who really um, have been saying, I want to work with her, but I'm not quite ready for the premium um, opportunities that she has. I think it's amazing if you know that what I'm sharing with you is valuable. If your life has changed, even from my broadcast that I come on and I just give, um, take an opportunity to invest maybe on a smaller level that's going to help you increase in your finances, um, gain healthier relationships, make better choices and decisions, and that's going to set you up to be able to invest on a new level in your life and in your business. You guys have a super, super amazing day. I'm not sure if I'll broadcast on tomorrow. Not quite sure yet. But um, remember, don't turn away from the target. Do not turn away from the target. If you want to see it manifest, you can't see what you're not looking at, right? So face forward, head on, um, stay connected to your vision. If you don't have one, please um, invest in yourself and uh, go through the four-week course. It's actually downloaded to your email weekly. So you get an entire week to embrace the strategies from each training. There's a workbook to go along with it. And um, also two bonus courses. I mentioned that in the beginning. But you guys have a super, super amazing day. You can go to the link for more details and make sure that you um, keep your head forward. You guys have a great day. Peace.